With temperatures expected to plunge into the single digits this week, the risk of hypothermia and other cold-related ailments are on the rise. I spoke to Nick Fleming with the Pikeville Fire Department to find out how you can stay safe this winter. Uh, one thing we see, if you're going to be working out in this environment, again, just wear the proper attire and take care of yourself. Um, make sure that you take regular breaks and warm your warm your body up. And, you know, this weather, along with um, just, just the general um, extra work that's required, like shoveling snow and things like that, can, can sometimes take an extra toll on our body that we're not aware of. So, um, you know, you don't want to stress your body to its limits out in this weather, especially if something was to happen and you're by yourself or alone, you know, there's, you know, there's a little bit more risk involved. So just take care of yourself and make sure to take regular rest breaks and warm up and wear the, wear the proper attire, obviously. Make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at JM Custom Auto and Off-Road. It's your customization candy store. Visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model. It's that easy. Window tinting, remote starts, leather interiors, sound systems, front and rear bumpers, spray and bed liners, bed covers, wheels and tires, lift kits, step rails, even underglow light kits, and so much more. If you can dream it, we can do it. At J and M Custom. Symptoms of hypothermia include slurred speech or mumbling, slow, shallow breathing, weak pulse, clumsiness or lack of coordination, drowsiness, confusion or memory loss, and loss of consciousness. Kind of some warning signs that we may be getting hypothermic. Obviously, the first thing that starts to the first sign that our body lets us know that we're getting into a hypothermic state is our, our extremities will start getting extremely cold. So you'll have the tingling sensation, the loss of sensation. Um, you'll start having um, um, potentially even pain and um, the skin will become a little bit more like a blanched or a white tinge to it. And long before that happens, we need to go ahead and get into a warm environment. With frostbite, you'll start seeing uh, some signs of it where they'll obviously they'll lose sensation in that area. They'll start having the discoloration and it'll be more of a red and a white color first. Um, and it'll actually get a waxy appearance. And once the damage occurs with frostbite, it's, it, it's, it's mostly irreversible. So we want to be mindful of that and make sure to protect our bodies. And again, that goes back to dressing accordingly for the conditions. For more information or concerns about staying safe this winter, contact the Pikeville Fire Department at 606-437-6234. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.